Hi guys, uh, it's EGC here. So today we are finally with uh, the remaining two uh, nation starters for Vanguard Overdress, which is of course uh, starter deck 04, uh, our Megami Okura, uh, Sylvan King, and also uh, 05, Tomari Seto Aurora Valkyrie. So uh, it will be the uh, Stoikia uh, nations and also Brandgate which I think a lot more people are actually looking forward to these two uh, starters so uh, of course we are going to do unboxing on these and uh, as usual I get myself two of each uh, so that I can have spares on some stuff and of course uh, if I really need to have specific cards for more than uh, sometimes two copies because as you, as you see in the uh, past starter deck unboxing there are cards that you won't get a place at all so yeah just in case and of course uh, these two are probably my personal favorite right now but uh, of course I'm if you ask me I'm always on uh, Team Megami so if you are Team Megami uh, make sure you keep the support going on uh, yeah and as I said before, uh, the decks, the nations that I'm going to play will be first, of course, Stoikia, and then also Dragon Empire and Brangate. So, yeah, you will be definitely seeing deck profiles on those. So, without further ado, let's uh, crack the seal for first and see what we can get inside. Uh, let's see, we do have that, so. Let's quickly crack this up. It's not, it's not easy as usual. But there you go. And of course, as always, we get the play sheets. Um, but I think they should also include the rule book to explain some of the rules for new players. But maybe they just let you go to the web and find that out yeah so the deck content of course or probably uh, if based on the last starter this will be our only foil which will be uh, the ace of the deck uh, hopefully also the ace when booster one is out we have different play styles and this is one of them which is the uh, our king here uh, Zafarin Horn Beast King Megaloa Megalolia Megalolia uh, So of course looks like a great nature unit and this looks very very nice Which is one of the reasons why I'm going to stick with the green nation uh, And he got some interesting skill to allow your regard to attack from the back row uh, And of course if you also including uh, personal ride mechanics that if you personal ride instead of picking one you can attack from the back row and plus 5k you can select free so you can actually do quite a lot of multiple attacks and uh, very luckily uh, it's not personal ride uh, fixed so that even if you first ride him you at least can put one regard to attack from the back row and even if you can't person ride, you can still do that. So that's great. But if you can uh, person ride, then uh, what you can do is more. That's more important. So we have uh, definitely four of these. And then we have uh, this Savan Horn Beast again, which is a lettuce. Sounds like a vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think the Savannah Horn Beast is one of the theme and maybe we will be seeing more later because uh, we do know from set 2 we'll be basically supporting more support for what we have from the starter decks and also set 1 so we probably can see more of those and as usual these cards are for your ride deck so that you can just keep riding your uh, correct kind of ride chain but it's not but it's like uh, when 
the upper grade writing on this card correctly, you get to do some skills. Uh, so this is something that helps you to build your board and able to increase attacks from the back row, which is very important, and a good partner with our king. And then we have another beast here, uh, Cherries, also some interesting name. Uh, is another calling and plus attack from the back row. So not only plus 5k, you also get a little bit more buff here. And then of course we have our starter. And we have our box unit. Mega quality like unit. Uh, unfortunately you just say vanilla so uh, can't do much with him even in premium unless we go for like Suzanne and just with like elementals and boost them up and this looks like a vanilla but it's not it's just got a little tax here to have a 5k whenever you have other 4 regards basically if you have a full board he's a 15k body yeah and we get this uh Moving pedal, uh, Domalia. So she used quite a lot of uh, resources. Calabas one and so last one is quite heavy, especially in this deck, because you need to use a lot of Calabas every single turn, at least from here. And this just use some. And if we go to the booster, we probably would need to use some more. And uh, if you do see uh, the zero five starter content like the card review is a little bit earlier you will know what I mean but of course when I go through the starter I will tell you that so this can do boost but of course you can pump her 5k and give let her attack on back row so that is fine as well um, and this is another uh, calling aboard cards but causing Sobas 2 which is quite heavy and of course we have our PGs, we then have our triggers, uh, over trigger of course, uh, as usual 4 crits, 4 draws, 3 uh, fronts and 4 heals, and we have our uh, special order here, um, which is call to the beast. Uh, so select one of your unit during your battle kit plus 5k, and if you have three or more back of regards uh, instead of 5k they get 15k so yeah another support for our king here because even if you can get 5k to three units and attack from the back row if your opponents get a defensive trigger you basically just kind of waste your stuff like a 13k attack against a 23k will not hit but this at least pump 15k so you can kind of guarantee yourself to hit which is quite important here um, and I can't wait to actually test it out which I am going to test it out uh, this week so uh, of course I still got other uh, of the first three trial decks uh, deck play those five, deal, five videos to come out for you guys so it will come on time from time to time I will just keep posting and you will find them eventually and uh, also, I'm also uh, trying to work out on Tabletop Simulator to see if I can do something from there. Maybe uh, I can grab a friend or two to help me out, but that's another story. So, uh, let's get done with this starter deck and go to the next one. And of course, we are going to crack this starter as well. Um, so let's see what's in there. Uh, from the Stoikia starter, we can see the deck is using the mechanics, which is uh, attacking from back row, and also can make use of personal ride. In the Dragon Empire starter, they have the overdress mechanics and support for overdress units, of course. Uh, for Kata Sanctuary, they focus on Grey Freeze and like how you get benefit once you ride and starting to call grave freeze um, and then dark states 
they have their final rush and uh, how you gain from final rush and the playstyle of using final rush and from brand gate of course we do have a uh, different skill which is relating to uh, a prison so first we have our Sarah Snow which can gain power if you have more of your opponent's units in prison so putting more of the units in prison will help you a lot uh, and even can gain drive so that can be massive and this skill doesn't require you to have any cost like no color blast, no soul blast, no discard as long as you have enough then you can get the power buff and drive and of course just purely color kind of blast one you can put two units of your opponent's regards to uh, prison so quite easy to get a 10k and <laughs> quite easy to gain the drive as well so yeah of course we have four so uh, if you do want to shine your deck again buy four but depending on if you really want to do that um, I might do it with the horn beast maybe I'm still thinking uh, and it's cheap anyway so if you really want to do that do so then we have our reset pink so she whenever you uh, willing to discard it uh, wait uh, when this card is appearing on a vanguard circle your opponents put one card into the prison so yeah quite easy right and then when you have the seraph uh, snow here kind of lost, then you already have three cards easy and then we have our uh, Kian Knight Blue uh, which brings you the prison yeah and then we have our solder uh, we have some card gunner uh, which is like a police here uh, also take some stuff into prison but of course he needs to uh, hit the vanguard which is not that easy sometimes and we have more police uh, putting more units to prison and we have this uh, Jueleon so Jueleon maybe that's how it sounds is this design really makes me remind of some like other robots anime which is quite cool but um what I wonder is because it is a uh, combination is something that maybe we can also like see more other units like how are they going to combine into this that's something that interests me I hope they don't just put this unit out there and just leave it alone and then we have this uh, how do how we call this is the automatic caution is like a cleaner looks like cleaner to me uh, but the skill is very simple uh, if your prison have more than one of your opponent's card in there it get plus 5k shield which is quite important because our shield value is very very low here and get plus 2k to become a 10k attacker or booster quite important but maybe in later times we can have some better cards that help you increase defense and then we have this monster locks knights uh, kind of like a um, monster hunter monster but in a more insect form yeah but cool art and of course uh, you should line up once over trigger Four crits, four draws, and three fronts, and four heals, and we get two prisons. So uh, quite easy to use uh, as long as you're willing to rest one of your unit, even your vanguard. Uh, you can play this order card. So uh, even though like losing a drive might be a problem, but if you are actually going first and you have your little blue here 
to search a person into your hand and you are going first basically you can just tap it and just set your prison quite easy so yeah uh, at the moment I don't think there are cards that can uh, destroy a prison so far maybe we can see some in the future but for now we don't have any so it's just easy and like without too much trouble to just set a prison as long as you have the right deck which also shows you how important the right deck is and uh, I probably is going to make another video to talk about like how the new mechanics let me like think of different stuff the right deck uh, personal ride um, the new kind of new way of American because you actually have three cards out of your deck already uh, because normally we set our starters and then we do our American with 49 cards and no matter what we just like draw five and change whatever and it's still the 49 cards but now we take extra three cards into our right deck so it's a battle of 60 uh, 46 cards 46 cards which is very very different and also the shield value how that's uh, affecting the game just from using the starters so I will talk about that in another video yeah so hopefully uh, I can get it out early and you guys can enjoy it yeah so that's basically uh, the unboxing of the two starters uh, quite simple quite cool uh, as I said I still going to make this uh, Green Nations I still love them and the brain gates like uh, white nations always uh, get some new mechanics that interest me even though like I'm like halfly in and not always in but I end up always playing them yeah so just interesting and I'm looking forward to like how the uh, other parts of the Stoichi are going to use water cards to mix all the cards to make them stronger and also the brand gate side to uh, instead of using a prison now they're using world uh, all these kind of new mechanics flow into my head and I'm just looking forward to play with all of them so far uh, I like what we see in overdress and I hope I can keep liking it and keep trying new stuff yeah so thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video signing off